Hey, how's going everyone? This is the Anime Man. So, Skeb. Have you heard of it? If you don't know, Skeb, it is a Japanese website where you can commission Japanese artists to draw you whatever the hell you want for a price. Think of it like Fiverr, but if the quality was a lot higher in general. Or think of it like Patreon, if Patreon actually gave a shit about their artists. And I've done a couple of videos over on Fiverr in the past, and they were all hilarious and fun and cool and a great way to spend my hard-earned money to support some good artists. But you know, this is the Anime Man channel, and I think naturally, you guys who come to my channel and like things like anime just naturally have a really big obsession with Animu art. As do I. I love the anime aesthetic. And I want to support independent Japanese artists as well because I think there is just so much talent out there that really goes undeserved. So today I figured we would go on to Skeb to commission some artists to draw some fun stuff for a video. But this is the Anime Man channel and we're not gonna let them off scot-free by drawing their favorite anime characters or manga characters. No, we're gonna give them a real creative challenge. Because if there's one big argument that people all over the anime and manga and just the internet in general have been debating on for decades now is which is better, anime or cartoons? Is anime just another form of cartoon or is it different? Are Western cartoons superior to anime or are, is anime more superior to Western cartoons? Well, we're gonna put that to the test by commissioning some Japanese artists to draw Western cartoons in an anime style. So the first things first, we're gonna have to scroll down on Skeb right here. This is the website, by the way, and uh, find some good artists to commission. As you can see, here's just some of the newer works. There is so much art out here. By the way, uh, I have turned off the NSFW tag just for the sake of this video, but I had it on just regularly uh, when I was scanning through and looking for some artists. And uh, holy crap, there is so much porn on this website. <laughs> So depending on how much you guys like this video, I might do a second video where I hire some henty artists here on Skeb to draw some real cursed stuff. So if you want that, hey, smash like on this video right now. But let's scroll through and try and find some artists to commission. Okay, this artist is pretty cute. I mean, look at that. It's, it's drawing like some furry stuff right here. Oh, it only goes for about 4,000 yen too, which is like 40 bucks. Not bad at all. You know what? Let's send our first request. Hello there. Can you draw this image in anime style? All right, now we got to decide on a Western cartoon character. What? What? Western cartoon could we get them to draw in an anime style? You know what, let's start off strong and go with the highly contested Avatar The Last Airbender. Sometimes people say this is anime, sometimes it's, they say it's not anime. To be honest, it doesn't really matter, it's just a great fucking show in general. I really like this image of Anne Katara and Sokka, so uh, you know what, let's, let's go with the trifecta. Let's see what this looks like in a true anime style. Oh wow, look at this artist. Oh my god. It is such cute artwork, dude. Look at this. Oh my god, this is so cute. What the hell? 8,500 yen. You know what? This is some talent right here. I want to see a Western cartoon character in this kind of like cute, bubbly kind of style, anime style. So you know what? Let's commission. Hello. You know what would be perfect for a cute, adorable style like this? The most adorable family in all of America, the Samsons. Look at this adorable picture of everybody. Hell yeah, let's go with that. Alright, let's pray and hope for a cute Simpsons picture. Send! Ooh, this one is also cute as well, look at that. I really like this kind of style as well, kind of like the street wear style. Ooh, very nice. Yeah, you know what? Time for another commission. What should we go with this time? Hmm, maybe something from the Nickelodeon era, like maybe Fairly Odd Parents. You know what, how about a little bit of Timmy Turner? My boy Timmy Turner, look at him. Look at him, just chilling right there. Let's see how it goes. 90 bucks for anime Timmy Turner. Money well spent. Send. Yo, look at this artist, dude. Holy crap. Okay, this is actually such a sick style. I love this, dude. Oh my god, it's like so dark. Ooh, hell yeah. And 7,000, 70 bucks for this? Hell yeah, dude, let's go, request time. What's a cartoon that is just totally not that style? Like something that's like really goofy that would look really ridiculous in like a, a dark style like this. Maybe some Rick and Morty. <laughs> Could you imagine this <laughs> in like a style like that? Oh my God, that'd be ridiculous. Dude, look at this image of Rick with like a gun pointing out. Dude, this in the style of this? Bruh, I want to see that. Please say yes to this request, I beg of you. Praying to the gods. Send. Oh, look at this adorable style again. Oh, look at that, so cute, so wholesome. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's bring back some wholesomeness into this video. Let's let's send a request. 
How about a classic? Let's go back to some some classic Western cartoons. Maybe some Tom and Jerry. Now that is a wholesome picture of Tom and Jerry right there. Look at them. Adorable. It's like they were never fighting at all. 9,000 yen? Hell yeah. Send. All right, you know what? Let's do one more because I have one perfect Western cartoon in mind to turn into an anime style, but I'm looking for a very specific style for this. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is the kind of style and energy that I am looking for to turn this into a masterpiece. You bet your sweet ass. We're going for some SpongeBob and Squidward, baby. <laughs> Kihune Itaru, if you say yes to this request, you are about to be a legend on this channel. All right, there we go. All of the requests are sent to the six artists. Now, of course, they might deny. And if that's the case, then you're about to find out which one's denied and which one's delivered. But I guess we will see if any of these artists come back with some legendary pieces of artwork because I am absolutely looking forward to it. I literally just spent $300 on six pieces of anime shit posts. Worth it. All right, it has been roughly four days since I saw you guys last and we've had some updates. For one, all six of the artists that we have asked commissions for have responded. In one way or another. Because it seems that two of them have accepted our offer. So we're just waiting on those. The problem is four of them straight up canceled. <laughs> so I guess we can say with certainty that unlike a lot of Fiverr artists, scare artists actually have some bar of quality. So now it is up to me to fill in or I guess find some artists that will be replacing the spot of the four artists that have cancelled. And I don't want to bore you guys to death with me endlessly trying to find four artists to draw a shit post for me, so let's just skip to when we have six pieces that are presentable. I just really hope it doesn't take that long of a time. Two months. Two months! It's only been uh, about a couple of seconds for you, but for me, it has been roughly 63 days. God, I didn't realize it was gonna take this long to get a couple of illustrations, but artists be on that grind. So luckily we managed to have none of the artists back out of this, and I can finally show off to you guys what some Japanese professional anime artists are capable of when it comes to turning Western cartoons into an anime style. I have to say that to myself because for me, again, it's been two months. I almost forgot what this video was even about. But I haven't looked at any of them yet, so we're all gonna check it out and uh, see if these artists have turned our Western cartoon friends into a distinctive anime look or not. So the first one we got back only three days after I uh, asked was uh, this artist called Kan Nashizuku, who I asked to turn Timmy Turner from The Fairly Odd Parents into an anime style, and this is what we got. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's cursed. I didn't even mean for this to be like a, a cursed anime thing, but there you go. That's a- uh, that's a real artwork that I- I paid for. I mean, really, did you have to put my name on it? Th there's almost a part of me that doesn't want to be associated with this cursed artwork, but there you go. I'm trying to figure out though, why does, for starters, Timmy have, like, a fishbone in his mouth? I- maybe I just don't remember enough about Fairly Odd Parents, but it- it makes it oddly sensual. Why did I say that? That's so gross. And my god, look at those eyes, man. Look at those begging eyes. Also, I really could have gone my entire life uh, not seeing what Timmy Turner's fucking crotch looks like. Yeah, this is like grade A curse. Thank you, Kanda Shizuku. All right, next up, uh, a week later, we got from an actual NSFW artist by the name of Diku, who I asked to turn this beautiful uh, SpongeBob and <laughs> SpongeBob and Squidward picture into an anime format. And, uh, this is what we got. <laughs> no! Oh no, that's so bad! I mean, first of all, they are absolutely gorgeous, man. God, look at them. SpongeBob's got, like, eyelashes for some reason? Well, we can definitely see who's the bottom in this relationship. And, uh, second of all, my god, they are built like absolute brick shit houses. Look 
at those muscles, man. My god. Talk about strong hugs between strong boys. So for one, I'm, I am glad that, you know, uh, Deku decided to get a little bit creative with this, you know, rather than just turning them into the anthropomorphized animals. I mean, for one, they've turned Sp uh, SpongeBob into like an actual like bishy boy with, with the tie and everything, of course. But I also <laughs> love the fact <laughs> that Squidward, for one, is wearing a, a beret? A beanie? I don't know what that is, but it looks oddly fleshy, and that's just kind of gross, to be honest. But I think, you know, the, the worst thing about this that I just feel really bad about, I mean, you know, I properly paid all of these artists, don't get me wrong, but the one thing I feel really bad about saying, even though this is a fantastic artwork, uh, is the fact that if you go on to <laughs> Riku's page on Skeb, uh, yeah, this is the only picture they have in their portfolio. <laughs> I may have possibly just ruined the future of a rather talented artist. Or I might have made that artist's career. Who knows? Maybe from next time I shouldn't put, like, the fact that I need to be, like, tagged or, like, credited in it. Because I... I don't- I don't want my name to this man. It's already in video format, I know, but I, I don't want my name plastered all over this shit. Hey, this video is sponsored by Raycon. Look, I love listening to music all the time, especially when I'm out and about, and I've had my Raycon earbuds for a very, very long time now, ever since I was first sponsored by them way back in the day, and they still work perfectly fine and they sound absolutely amazing in my ears. The new Everyday Earbuds offers an improved rubber oil look and feel with optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit. With eight hours of playtime, Time, a 32 hour battery life, an inbuilt mic that lets you take calls at a press of a button, all while starting at half the price of other premium audio brands. Raycon is the perfect set of earbuds for your everyday needs. And to top it all off, Raycon comes with a 45 day happiness guaranteed. And what more could you ask for than that? So if you'd like to get yourself a pair of awesome Raycon earbuds like I have, then make sure to click the link down in the description below. Or go to buyraycon.com slash anime man to unlock exclusive deals up to 20% off of your order. Thank you to Raycon for sponsoring this video. Back to the show. All right, next up, we jump another week ahead and we got a piece back from Hyoyo. And this one, unlike Riku, is a safe for work artist who just does some really, really cute stuff. So I figured what better way, I looked at that artist style and what better way than to maybe turn a rather adorable looking Western cartoon. Nay, I would say one of the most well-known adorable looking cartoons, Tom and Jerry into anime format. Let's see what we got. Oh! <laughs> Yo, okay, that's actually kind of fucking adorable, not gonna lie. Like, that actually looks legit. Like, I'm not even- I'm not even- I'm not even capping with you. Like, if you told me that these were, like, some, like, actual visuals to, like, a Tom and Jerry anime, I would believe you. This looks like it could easily play on, like, the NHK or some other, like, you know, Japanese, like, kids cartoon television network, because that's- that's freaking adorable. Kind of reminds me a little bit of, like, Shimajiro, in a sense with like the body proportions and just like the eyes especially. It is kind of hilarious though when you put uh, the, the Western variant and this variant side by side. It's uh, <laughs> it really is night and day. You know, I actually would kind of want like maybe a figurine of this or yeah, f fuck it. Japan, can you like turn, can you hire this artist to like do like some concept artwork for like a Tom and Jerry anime? Cause it's look, it's proven to work. Look how adorable this is. I think everyone who's watching this video can agree. This is freaking adorable. If I had a kid, I would show them this anime. Like, no doubt. All right, but next up, the fourth one. Uh, this one came in, again, another week later uh, from a creator called Saki. This one, the touch is a little bit different. This one is uh, black and white, and they mostly focus on, like, a bunch of, like, Helsing stuff, I believe. I mean, at least that's what it says on their profile. They don't actually have any, uh, like, Helsing artwork. But again, another potential artist career ruined or made, depending on how you want to look at it. And this time around, I asked them to draw a anime-fied version of what one might actually classify as already being an anime. Nay, the discussion of whether this Western cartoon is in fact an anime or is an anime-inspired cartoon is probably the most heated debate in all of the internet. So I figured I would settle that discussion by just getting a Japanese artist, getting a Japanese anime artist to just straight up turn it into an anime style so that we can all discussing about this dumb argument. I am of course talking about Avatar The Last Airbender. Oh my god, dude. Okay, for one, that looks sick. 
Like, if this was sold at, like, a con as, like, in a poster form, I think a bunch of Avatar The Last Airbender fans would buy this because, first of all, wow, look at that. I think this is all hand-drawn as well. This doesn't look digital. It looks like they hand drew it and then like photo scanned it in because these touches are very, very hand drawn looking. But still, look at that. That's so cool. There's like an insane amount of detail in like the clothes and everything. And look at like, look at Katara's water bending thing. That, dude, if they managed to do that hand drawn, that's like fucking impressive. And the most amazing thing about uh, Saki is that she actually drew two pictures for me. I don't know why, I only asked for one, but this artist was so awesome, they decided to give me another one. It's the squad, let's go! <laughs> Look at the squad rocking up, dude! That is actually so sick. Look, I think we can all agree now, right? It doesn't matter how you personally want to label Avatar The Last Stand Better. You can call it an anime, you can call it a cartoon. At the end of the day, in either anime format or cartoon format, Avatar the Airbender characters just look dope as fuck, all right? Oh, and they made like a third little picture. Look at this. Thank you for your request, Joey. With gratitude, Sucky693, September 2021. That's so cute. See, I, I love when artists like put in that, like add that little bit of a, of a thank you note. Like, she, she, like, they didn't have to do this at all. That's so freaking adorable. Look, look at these chibi variants of... <laughs> Look at these cheapy variants of Anne, Katara, and Sokka. That's so fucking cute, dude. That might have been my favorite one so far. That was freaking awesome. It worth every penny to support a great and humble artist. All right, second to last. Uh, this one came in uh, at the beginning of October, and uh, it is done by an artist called Chobi. Now, Chobi is an interesting one because they are known as a NSFW... BL artist. You know, I kind of wanted to spice it up a little bit. We had a super wholesome cute artist. We had an NSFW artist. You know what? Let's let's cover all bases. So I figured for one of these, I would get a BL artist to draw it in their own distinctive style. Because I've noticed personally that BL artists tend to have some of the most like distinctive art style, so I figured, you know, cover all bases of anime aesthetic, we would go with a BL route as well. And uh, this one was a very hard choice, but I figured we would give the BL artist a shot at drawing The Simpsons. The entire family. And uh, this is what they made. <laughs> Wow! First of all, I don't know if this is cursed or if it's wholesome. It's like in a very weird valley of uncanniness between the two. Okay, for one, uh, Lisa looks really cute. Lisa is quite adorable. Uh, and so is Santa's little helper as well. I mean, Santa's is just literally a dog. Bart doesn't look like Bart. He just looks like... A dude, you know, if, if you were gonna put uh, Lisa's hair as blonde, I don't know why you couldn't have done the same with Bart's hair. Maggie just straight up looks like a baby. And I guess they decided to turn Marge's hair into a more realistic one. I, I respect that. But- <laughs> <laughs> Homer's fucking face, dude! Holy shit! Yo, anime style Homer Simpson might be one of the most cursed things I've ever seen on the internet. I do like, though, the little touches that they decided to add to, like, kind of real, like, like let people know who are just stumbling into this picture on Skeb to know that this is a anime-fied version of The Simpsons. So I like the creative touches there because I don't think the original uh, photo I gave them has anything to do with, like, the stuff that they were wearing. So, you know, they got a little bit creative with it. I respect that. But yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? This is, like, again, such an uncanny valley between cursed and wholesome. I, I don't know which side of- depending on my mood of the day, this can easily fall into- Oh god, what the hell is this? And oh my god, this is adorable. Either way though, great art. I, I love how they at the end of the day they decide to stick to the anime versions, the the anime aesthetic, but also give it a nice little twist, you know? That's what that's what I wanted to see. So GG's Chobi. Alright, and last but certainly not least, and this is the artist that took the absolute longest. Uh, this is done by an artist called Popo, who I actually, uh, have been following online for quite a while now because their art is, like, very dark and, like, very, like, the edgy is not the right word, but, you know, very, like, cyberpunky, if that makes sense. And Popo's facial expressions than the characters that they draw is just absolutely freaking awesome. So I figured, why not get one of the most 
badass characters be turned into an anime style by a badass artist. And of course, when we think of badass Western anime characters, we can only think of Rick from Rick and Morty. <laughs> Bit of a curveball, but, uh, you know, I was really looking forward to this one, and, uh, there's probably a reason why this took two months to make, so... Let's see the final one. What does Anime Rick from Rick and Morty look like? Whoa! <laughs> okay! Okay, Popo! I fucking see you, my boy! Holy shit. That's actually so cool. Like, I'm I'm not even capping, guys. Like, that is actually so fucking cool. You know, I was only joking when I said that uh, Rick from Rick and Morty is the most badass Western cartoon character ever made. But you know what? I'm, I might have to retract my statements. This actually might have just made Rick one of the coolest Western anime characters or just Western character- uh, yeah, Western anime character, I guess. I mean, fuck. If they were to make a Rick and Morty anime, let's do it in this style, dude. Let's- let's go a little bit more of, like, the- 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 the, the cyberpunk -y aesthetic, because holy crap. How do they manage to turn something as so goofy Western animation style looking character into just, like, a really fucking badass anime dude? How- how did- how the fuck did they do that? I mean, you know, it might have been because of the picture I gave them as well, uh, you know, being one that I- I tried to find is a little more of like a- a cooler version of Rick from Rick and Morty, but, uh, my god. Jesus Christ, Popo, you- you- you blew this out the goddamn park. You know what? This is one that I'm not mad to have my name on. I'm- I'm actually pretty proud of this discovery. If- if ever Rick and Morty gets successful enough, especially in Japan, that they want to make an anime out of it, hey man, you know the artist to contact, they are available on Scam. I'm trying to figure out which anime this reminds me of. There's like, a little bit of Psycho Pass in here, as well as like, a- like a tiny bit of, uh, like Ergo Proxy thrown into the mix as well. It's a really unique style, but I absolutely love it. This is actually so fucking cool. <laughs> Wow, money well spent, dude, with this one. Holy shit, I can see why this took two months to make. Well, there you go, guys. Uh, if this video has proven anything, it's that uh, turning Western cartoon characters into a Japanese anime style is not impossible. All you need is enough time, uh, the right artists, and enough money to spend on those <laughs> artists. To be honest though, I did spend like a lot of money to, to make this video, but you know what? I ain't even mad that I spent this money because for one, I got to support some great upcoming talented artists and B, I got to, you know, make this video and show you guys that, hey, you know what? At the end of the day, both at the anime aesthetic and the Western cartoon aesthetic are both just as dope as one another. But if you'd like to check out any of the artists that I showed off in this video and hey, maybe give them your commission, you know, help support the artist, then I've left the link to all of the artists down in the description below. So please, please, please go and check them out. Also, if you enjoyed this video and you like to see me do more of these like skeb videos, then uh, leave a like on this video to let me know. I might do some more like a little more Patreon worthy type of content with some Skeb artists because <laughs> there's a lot of NSFW shit on Skeb, trust me. So if you'd like to see that, make sure to like this video and subscribe if you are new. And if you'd like to support your boy, as always, go over to my Patreon, patreon.com slash man. Links in the description below. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Like your favorite if you enjoy, subscribe for any banter. Keep watching anime. Down it.